Hey, what is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, as you can see about on February 6th, I did make a video about Ecosciences Inc, ticker symbol ECEZ. -E now in that video, this company was sitting at about 0 0.0008 and it was, a, you know, a good bit of share volume. And in that video, I was saying this website is a fantastic way for us to catch some of these penny stocks right before they take off. This is a fantastic way for us to see, okay, what's really starting to move in share volume and what can we see this, this, this stock price really starting to increase on soon? Well, whenever I did make that video, I did say that I would be buying this. I actually put it in my Patreon on February 6th, right after I put this video out. I was like, I'm going to be starting to position in the stock because I do believe that they have a lot of long-term potential. I think over the next couple of weeks, at least, they're going to see some growth, and I'm very excited to see how they do multiply over the next couple of weeks. Well, as we can see here from the releasing of that video, it is now sitting at 0 .0044 with 2.4 billion share volume, which is an increase of about 450% since the release of that video. Some of the people who are in my patreon went up about 350 percent on this stock alone and it has been an absolutely phenomenal ride now, if you do want access to these calls whenever I do make them, if you want access to some of these gains in which we're making, I mean, every single week we are having at least one or two stocks that's hitting a growth of 200 to 300 to 400%. It has been absolutely phenomenal. So if you do want access to that, my trades, my trade portfolio, and all of the early access to the content in which I will be posting on this channel, I'll talk about what I'm going to be posting. I give some information. If you are in the silver and above, you get all of my research. It's an absolutely fantastic opportunity for anyone involved. We are out of slots on the first one. We're slowly running out of spots in the next two. So definitely get in on this soon if you are interested. With that being said, if you are trying to expand out to a new brokerage or start your own investment and trading journey, you can definitely use the link in my description. It is a referral link for Weeble. And if you do sign up and get approved, you can win two free stocks valued up to $1,850. So who doesn't like, you know, getting a little bit of extra head start on their investment journey and who doesn't like some free money as all you have to do is deposit $100. Now, with that being said, we will be doing a full company overview and stock analysis of Ecosciences Inc, ticker symbol ECEZ. So what does this company do? So again, it is Ecosciences Inc. And what they do is provide bioremediation products for sewers, sludge ponds, septic tanks, lagoons, farms, car washes, portable sinks, sanitation facilities, grease tanks, lakes, and ponds. The company provides a suit of tablet-based products that can be added to waste systems. So the, tab the active ingredients in the tablets use SORT, Selective Oxygen Release Tab technology, to oxygenate wastewater, remove hydrogen sulfide odors, prevent corrosion in wastewater systems, and initiate aerobic biological breakdown of organic sludge. This includes fats, oils, and grease. Now, the company's products, which serve various market segments, include trapeze tabs, specifically formulated for grease traps and food and service markets, the waste ease tabs, an all in one tablet for wastewater treatment facilities, septic tanks, grease traps, ponds, car washes, I like that one, and more. So, we are going to go over their two main products, which again are waste ease and trapeze. So, waste ease tabs, wastewater tablets are solid, sustained release tablets, which provide active oxygen, nutrients, buffers, and safe aerobic microorganisms to help clean, control, odor and keep wastewater systems running efficiently. These multi-purpose tablets can be used in pump and lift stations, septic tank systems, wastewater treatment facilities, septic tanks, grease traps, ponds, car washes, and more. And I think that this is going to be a very big one, right? I think that this of these two is going to just be equally as big as the trapeze simply for the fact that this is stuff that we are always going to see. We're always going to see wastewater treatment facilities. We will likely always see car washes. I can't imagine the day will come that we won't. I can't imagine that we'll ever not have grease traps or ponds within neighborhoods or septic tanks. And they're targeting industries in which can you know withstand the test of time and i really do like that i love investing in the companies and i love the future outlook of companies that are you know that that target certain industries that can't be taken over by technology right i think that it is very important that as we do see this technologic revolution that we are also investing into companies that won't just be overrun or just be shut down whenever technology does increase so i'm very very excited about the future outlook for especially wastees now next up we do have trapeze tabs they are grease trap tablets that are solid they sustain release tablets which provide active oxygen nutrients buffer and safe aerobic microorganisms to help clean deodorize and keep grease traps running efficiently these tablets can be used by a wide variety of food service industry customers so whenever it does come to the trapeze, I will say I don't think it has the same amount of longevity as wasties because we have been seeing a big evolution recently and we've been seeing a lot of people shift to other, you know, methods of cooking such as air frying and a little bit more into baking. And so I will say that I don't think, you know, the frying and having the grease traps and everything will be around forever. I think there will be other ways and other more efficient and cleaner ways to cook food. But I do believe that this is still one that is going to be around for a very long time. And the overall food service industry that does have grease traps and everything 
anything like that is going to be you know that's going to continue to grow for a good amount of time because i'm saying it's not going to have the same longevity i'm talking maybe not a few hundred years but i definitely do believe within our lifetime it's definitely going to continue to flourish now the great thing about this is is i have worked in a restaurant i worked in a restaurant for two years and i actually was in control i was controlling over our ovens and i was in control over our fryers and now with the fryers i will say that these grease traps are absolutely disgusting they're disgusting and they stink and so i would honestly say that if we could have at the time had some type of product that could help clean it and help deodorize it that would have been absolutely phenomenal so as a person with experience i will say that this product for sure if it does work as they do explain it would be a phenomenal addition to many many kitchens so overall how do these products work right and at the end of the day how does this technology work what is the ecological application well it says here that whenever we're referring to reducing grease and solid buildup grease and organic solid buildup can lead to system inefficiency buildup on tank walls and pipes can reduce the system's ability to handle incoming wastewater as well as cause backups and system failure removal of grease and solids requires scheduled pumping with associated service and disposal fees these services can become costly depending on the size of the system and frequency of the pumping ecological tablets provides oxygen nutrients buffers and billions of bacterial spores per gram this creates an environment that encourages the aerobic degradation of grease and solids when applied regularly our tablets effectively break down existing grease and prevent further solids formation now whenever we're talking about hydrogen sulfide reduction and odor mitigation whenever it comes to ponds and all of those other things it says here that hydrogen sulfide a byproduct of anaerobic degradation is a noxious colorless gas with an odor similar to rotten eggs and is one of the most recognized odors associated with wastewater when hydrogen sulfide is trapped in an enclosed area it can form sulfuric acid which will corrode tank walls and pipes eventually leading to system failure ecological tablets create an environment that prevents anaerobic degradation and the creation of hydrogen sulfide when applied regularly the tablets oxygenate the wa wastewater and create an environment where billions of bacteria spores can grow and begin to efficiently break down waste the byproduct of aerobic degradation is carbon dioxide a non-toxic and odorless gas which is super important so basically this is an al alternative to the pumps in which they need to get all of this you know, to get all of this nasty buildup out again because as they did say it does cost fees and pumping out these different pipes takes a while you know this is a lot of scheduling and they have to do it and your business has to be closed because they can't do this when you're open it's just a lot and so the application of this would be phenomenal if they are capable of getting it out to many businesses which we we will see that they have actually gotten some interesting deals in the past so i am excited to see the future of this as i do believe that this could be a phenomenal alternative to, to some of the previous methods used to do you know to get rid of some of this grease to get rid of the solid buildup and to mitigate a lot of these different odors so what is the overall goal of this business and what is the future outlook as according to joe fallitz the president and ceo of eco sciences well it says here that they are focused on building acquiring and investing in businesses around ecological and life sciences from wastewater remediation to healthcare and more eco sciences is committed to building a better living environment for all people our bioremediation business is just the beginning of our plan and goal to create a successful mid to large cap company over the long term the company will look at all opportunities along the supply chain this includes new tech manufacturing firms distribution businesses and end consumer products we look forward to continuing the execution of our business plan for the long-term goal of building shareholder value and i like that I, that shows that they're not very short-sighted they have a long-term game plan and then they have steps in which they will use to get there because that's always something i say you know if you have an idea and if you have a goal that you want to reach you need to align your actions with your ideas because at the end of the day if you just have an idea and you don't align actions with it well you're just dreaming you're never going to reach that goal in which you're trying to and so i do like the fact that they have laid out a game plan in which they are going to try to execute on each one of these milestones to eventually reach you know building a shareholder value and creating a mid to large cap company so i really do like that quote from him and i think that's super duper important for anyone who is considering investing into this company especially for the long term so next up, now that we know the company overview, we know who's running the company, we know what their goal is, and we know what their products are. Well, one thing that I do want to point out is that the overall industry in which they are targeting is growing. Now, earlier I did say that the products in which they are targeting is going to provide them with longevity, and I do believe that. I do believe that as we go forward, the ponds, the septic tanks, the grease traps, those are going to continue to be prevalent issues that they are, people are going to face, especially within the food industry, for a good while. I mean, for decades and decades to come. But not only that, whenever it comes to the overall industry in which which they are in with this bio which is bioremediation this market is projected to be worth 334 billion dollars by 2027 which represents a growing compound annual growth rate of 5.5 percent due to emerging research now it says that the bioremediation market expansion is driven by increasing government initiatives due to the rising focus on environmental protection and rising industrialization 
So that's what I was saying earlier as well. I think that this is important and it is going to withstand the test of time simply for the fact that people are more focused now on protecting the environment, but we're also seeing a lot more, you know, businesses coming up. We're seeing a lot more industrialization. So with that being said, as industrialization does increase, so so does the effect on the environment. So there are going to need to be those things in which can protect the environment from the increased industrialization as we do go forward in the time. And I think that this is one of those companies that can provide the products that can, you know, execute on that and provide a solution solution to that problem. Now, one thing that I did want to say is absolutely hilarious. I was just scrolling on stock twits and just checking out ECEZ and seeing what people were saying. And my video popped up. This is so strange. But <laughs> anyway, as you can see over here from stock twits on ECEZ that this company has been absolutely blowing up. I mean, the amount of viewers who are watching this every single day is increasing by the thousands. They're currently maybe sitting somewhere. I think it was around 4,000 earlier today. And it is literally just growing and growing and growing. People are so bullish on this. They believe that it is going to do a lot of fantastic things. They're starting to gain hype on Twitter. People are talking about squeezing out some of the, you know, some of the shorters on Tuesday. So it'll be definitely interesting to see what this does do at, you know, market open. I do believe that I will be more than likely increasing into a very small position again on this company early on Tuesday morning because I do believe it does have some potential. Now, again, you guys do know the drill. If you do want access to that trade, definitely head down to the link in my description and check out the Patreon. But there is one thing that I have to say whenever it comes to this company, and I know not everyone is going to like it. So as we can see from ECEZ that this company again had a fantastic week. I mean growth of over 400% at one point being up nearly over 600% has just been absolutely phenomenal. But the issue with this is there's been no news of any progress within the business. They're not doing anything. They're not really making any big moves at this very moment. But seemingly this rise has been more you know due to a lot of this hype that's been building up and a lot of people focusing on these stocks that are heavily shorted. So that is one thing to definitely keep an eye out on. You know it's it's worrying in a sense you know whenever this company has been up before and it's been doing fantastic and then it starts to pop back up within the short term simply over this big hype that does make me a little bit nervous as it may it may warrant and it may provide some foresight that it might not last very long so what i will say with this company is that if you are getting in and if you are starting to position into them i'd be very very cautious with it i wouldn't go ahead and you know just invest a whole bunch of money into them and not set any stop losses or not set any type of exit strategy strategy simply because you think it's just going to fly for the next two years. I think that companies that have a lot of hype simply based off of hype, really, and based off of an increase in a stock price that's very drastic, very fast, we tend to see them somewhat slow down just as fast as they went up. So one thing I will say again is that if you are planning on enter entering into this stock, be very careful, set trailing stop losses, set tight stop losses. And if you are trading emotionally, if you've been having a few days where you're trading emotionally, I would say that this is going to be a very, very volatile ride, and I would be very, very careful careful. So with that being said, if you guys do want access to what's next with for me with this stock, if you do want to know when I get in, what my entry price will be, and what my exit strategy and all of my plan around this is, definitely again head over to the link in my description. You can head out, you can check out, check out the bronze, check out the silver. They will both offer you packages in which you can see my trades, and I am fully transparent through there. With that being said, I hope you guys did like my analysis and breakdown of this stock, ECEZ. The company Echo Sciences Inc. is definitely an interesting one. It'll be one to keep an eye on for sure. Hopefully, all this pressure from the market does put them into having some news release or they start to give us updates on what they're doing because I think that that will provide their stock with longevity just as I do believe their company has loads of longevity as well. With that being said, I do post on this channel two to three times every single day and I can't wait to see you all next time. Peace.